Came to Birmingham, 95 Savage Jams, uh, you know what I'm saying? He came and you said it was necessary for me to speak to these young students, these young uh, people who, sh like, speak shit, like, and that, like, they talk street shit, they talk gangster shit, they don't, they don't let the kids know that it ain't cool to do this shit. Yeah. Like, if you already did it, then it's a different story. You know what I'm saying? But don't encourage these folks to do some shit, especially some shit you wouldn't do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. that's what's going on. Like, a lot of motherfuckers, very few rappers will do what they talking about or done did what they talking about. So, you know, um, I just feel like, like, don't, don't be encouraged. I'd rather encourage them, them, them to, like, uh, if you done already did it, or just better yet, shit, yeah. go cap. Because there's a lot of cap rappers out here who, who ain't doing shit. They just capping. So go cap. Like, go live. Since, go cap. since everybody else lying, go live, man. Go live, man. Don't do not do this shit and be away from your family and be away. Because ain't nobody going to send you shit to your books. You going to sit up in this cell. Ain't nobody going to send you no mail. Mm. None of this shit. They ain't going to do none of that shit for you. So don't be. Well, you, you speaking some real stuff, man. man. Don't be thinking. Don't be feeling like, oh, I got to do this shit to make myself look real. No, you don't, because there's a lot of niggas out here lying. And once they get their jewelry and once they get their fame, she's up from there. People going to believe them automatically. Shit. It's just the way the game going. Wow. Wow. I ain't going to lie to you. I wish we had all the time in the world, because I know you got a wealth of knowledge. You know, I've been through a lot. You know, I've seen a lot. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in Memphis, you know, I like to find out, um, you know, of course, where a person's from, uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of times you end up becoming a product of your environment, and it helps people understand why you create the music that you create. Because right. a lot of times people judge you, but you, they don't really know you. You know how that be finesse. Right. So for those who kind of looking from the outside in, growing up in Memphis, man, what kind of mindset does that give a man? Ooh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> So they get to know what it's like. Why Finesse think the way he think? What was it like growing up in Memphis? Growing up in Memphis. If you, if you, if you, if you ain't got to, if you ain't got to be street in the streets of Memphis, like if you ain't got to be no street nigga, don't do it. Don't do it. If you, if you got a choice, if you got a loving mama and a loving daddy, don't choose the streets of Memphis. Don't, 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 don't. Don't just choose the streets, like, do what your mama tell you to do, do what your yeah. mama tell you to do, like, because you'll end up <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So it's okay to get a job out here for those listening. You know what I mean? If, yeah, that's, what, if that's what you get, get, but it's okay. Don't Sometimes never, don't never, feel, like don't never feel bad about getting a job, because I was incarcerated and I was thinking in my head, like, damn, what if I, what if I get all this time? And I get out when I'm 40 and shit. My music won't be popping no more. Like, I won't be able to be no rapper no more. So what would you do? Like, what would you do to come on top? Like, I'm one of them type of dudes. I ask myself questions and I answer my own questions. You know what I'm saying? So I told myself, shit, if I got to go work a McDonald's, if I got to go work a McDonald's job, shit, shit, shit. I bust tables at McDonald's and shit, and shit. Because, like, you you learn discipline in, 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 on the inside. You learn how to... How to, how to how to get ahead and like like me I'm like I bust some tables and before you know it shit I be busting tables and cooking and then I be busting tables cooking and at the cashier and then I be busting tables at the cashier cooking and at the window so before you know it I be the supervisor and I be the manager and then goddamn so forth you see what I'm saying I give me some money and hopefully one day own me a McDonald's you know what I'm saying so you can do it it's just about what you want is just about if you want to stay busting tables, you're gonna stay busting tables. Yeah, just, but so, but so I'm saying it to say, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with getting a job. Now, you know, what I love, I can see that you're a hustler, whatever way it is, you're gonna get your money for that. And I, and I love that about you, man. I love that about you. And you know, I want to ask you this question I said, if you wasn't rapping. What else would have made you filthy rich? If you wasn't rapping today, what else you know you could have got filthy rich doing? Don't do that. <laughs> I got out and came up off the whole money, man. You know? Listen, man, I, I ain't never work no job. I'm going to be honest. Like, I ain't never work no job. So it's like, yeah. when I when I was when I was in the streets hustling, I'm going to say that. I ain't going to say pimping. When I, I said it. <laughs> 
Well, anyway, when I was in the streets hustling, like, it was so easy, like, because at the end of the day, like, mm. women gonna always sell. I'm sorry. It's just life, like, it's, no, gonna, boy. it's, it's drugs that'll stop selling before women will. Oh, you know, that's, before we get lost inside of all that, because, boy, I know that's a whole... I need you to write a book. We're going to have to know about all that. I need you to write a book later on in life so we can find out all the rest of that stuff. I, I already know I'm going to be best seller. But, <laughs> man, early on, man, from walking for the studio. Well, Lil Birdie told me you used to walk two and a half hours to get to the studio as a young one, man. I walk, I walk, I used, I walk two and a half hours to get to the studio to record my first song, yeah. My first song ever, I walked two and a half hours just to Ow. go record. But um, I did it on a few different occasions. Like, we live so far from the studio. I was young when I started rapping. I was like 11, so studios weren't as accessible as they used. When you legit and you determined, you'll walk. When, you, when I was a kid, hey, Finesse, I used to walk real quick. I walk to, cool. the, to, the skate, walk to the skate ring and all. I'm walking. <laughs> and we walking. We out there. Anything you want to do, you're going to Yo, walk as a kid. That's a fact. You can't tell us no. Nah, <laughs> it seems like can't nobody tell you no from drop this music and doing what you do. You're very humble. You got a song called Humble. Right. Doing numbers out here in these streets. Right. <laughs> you working with Gucci. Right. You feel? Let me ask you this. Because I remember when you was when, when they was like, yo, Finesse about to come home. Finesse about to come home. Right. I mean, I remember Motors asking for a price tag. Anybody got a nimble on the who got a nimble on? Did you succeed? Did you see you coming home? And you blowing up and doing the things that you doing now while you was locked up. I get that question a lot, yes. I you, always, you already knew, like, hey, when I come home, I knew, you knew the private jail was going to be waiting for you. I knew that, <laughs> yeah. But I'm talking about as far as the success, I knew. Like, I already yeah, knew. Like, sure. I'm going to tell you what, one, one of the main things I knew. Like, I was listening. Talk to I was listening to the music like you know i had access to a cell phone so it was like i'm looking at everything going on and i ain't saying that a lot of artists ain't because they got good music but i knew like what i got to offer to the streets like they need it like i know the shit that i'm finna be saying and what i'm finna deliver i was like yeah they gonna they ain't hearing they ain't hearing this like they just hearing about draco oh, and, and head with yeah like this gonna be different like this is gonna be different like I already, I already knew i ain't gonna say no names but i already knew it wasn't gonna be nothing but a couple people who could keep up so i knew i was gonna have this on smash like just look it's the proof in the pudding ain't nothing but a few songs out yeah yeah. Finesse, when it's all done, man, I, when you when you sitting back in the mansion, I, cause I know you, when you sitting back with your Grammys, all your awards, when it's all said and done, when, when, when you say, you know what, I'm going to leave this rap game alone for now, what, what do you want people to remember you for and say about you? People? Yeah, just the industry. Like, man, Finesse, what I remember, what I love about him is he brought us. What do you want people to say man, about you when man, it's at the end of your career? He, man, last time Finesse got out of jail, he came home on point, like, he came mm. home and took care of his business and he took care of his kids and, you know what I'm saying, he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he ain't go back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he, he, he motivated me. That's what I want to hear people say, the jits, especially the jits. I want to hear them say, like, because of finesse, I'm doing this. Or because of finesse, mm. I did this. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to hear. 20 years from now, like, I want, I want, I want just to see me in public, like, man, you the reason why I did this, or you the reason why I did that. That's what I yeah. want to hear 20 years from now. You, you want to inspire? What's crazy about it, I know it's some cats you were locked up with, like, damn, Finesse really came home and did that. That was the whole, the whole time at the basketball game, that's what I was thinking, like, I'm knowing I'm on TV, and you know, you got the ESPN station. Yeah. You got some, like, man, I know the guys that's locked, like, man, I'm looking for Nish, like, you know what I'm saying? Because boy. I done had conversation with guys, like, man, you could do whatever you want to do, bro. Like, if you put your mind to it, put the high power first, you could do it. You could do it, but you got to, when people just say put your mind to it, see, I believe in you got to do what you got to do to do what you want to do. But you got to do what you got to do. Mm. But you got to do what you got to do. If you don't do what you got to do, then you ain't going to do what you want to do. And that's just that's just how it's going to go. Don't think you wow. going to 
Don't think you're going to be able to have stuff with greatness. You got to give it your all. Mm. I'm going to throw out a name. I want you, you to try to describe that person in one word. Here you go. You ready, buddy? Here you go. Here you go. Let's go. Jay Prince. Mm -hmm. Can you describe him in one word? I got a few words. That's why it's so hard. Like he ain't just a one word <laughs> type of dude. Like he ain't just <laughs> he ain't a yeah. One, yeah, he not a one word type of dude. You can't describe that man like in one word. It's hard. Like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like when you meet people it's like hard. when you meet people like that, like who all the way around the board a good person, like no matter what the situation, mm -hmm. he not biased like toward no like toward nothing. Like to it, to it, even his own kind. Like he not biased toward him. If you wrong, you wrong. He a man. Fuck that. That's my word. He a man. He a man. That's what I'm gonna say. He a man. He a man. That's a man. It goes down on that. He a man. He a man. I don't call two mm -hmm. people, too many people, men, but he a man. Like he a, he a cold blooded man. He on man time. I don't know what other people think mm -hmm. about him or feel about, him, but I know he a man. Like. I done felt his energy. I done talked to him personally. He a man. I don't care what nobody else got to say. I ain't got nothing bad to say. Wow. Wow. 